G'day viewers. Look, I hope you're coping with the horror that is the world we live in. I know a lot of people who watch my videos will be feeling quite bad at the moment. I waited to see the official result, but yes, the inevitable happened and Brett Kavanaugh was confirmed for the US Supreme Court. Now look, I know that feels like the complete abandonment of any sort of civility and public decency. I know it feels like it's spitting in the face of people who've come forward to talk about sexual abuse over the years. I know it's an exertion of pure power and the complete abandonment of any of the sort of objectivity of basic decency that some people think those in public office should have. But I think you're missing the upside. Namely, nothing matters. The evidence has been there for a while. I mean, look at Trump. A liar, a fraud, a criminal, a philanderer, a serial abuser of women. President of the United States because nothing matters. So why is it a surprise that a judge who came from privilege and lied about almost every important factor of the accusations against him, whose behaviour was so bad and so partisan in his job interview where he was meant to establish his temperament and uh, impartial tone because he's going to be a judge on the highest court of the land and he failed at that so badly the American Bar Association called for his nomination to be withdrawn because he was unfit for the office and that had no effect because nothing matters. You can say you're an evangelical Christian, a person of God, and yet still support a president who cheated on all three of his wives, who pays women for sex and then lies about it and then gets caught in those lies, who has done nothing but mock people weaker than them. He's mocked a disabled reporter. He's mocked the parents of a soldier killed in combat. He's mocked women who've come forward about sexual abuse. He has shown himself to be the most base, disgusting, vile excuse for a human we've seen on the public stage in a long time. But you can say you're a Christian and still support him because... NOTHING MATTERS! Seriously, what's holding you back from doing whatever vile act you want and then refusing to accept any responsibility? Are you still clinging to some shreds of basic human decency? Where the hell is that ever going to get you? Look around! NOTHING MATTERS! It probably behooves me to point out at this moment that the nothing matters, strictly speaking, only applies to privileged white men who make the laws and control public institutions. Everyone else is actually still going to be held responsible for what they do and in many cases for things they've never actually done. But fear not, even if you're not a privileged white man, you can still benefit from this system simply by saying what privileged white men want you to say. Now, there's a sliding scale for how much you benefit by doing this, and it's reflective on how much you're disadvantaged if you don't do that. Now, the next most privileged group are arguably white women. If you go along with what these privileged straight white males say to your own detriment, you will be rewarded just so long as you stay within the lines they say you have to stay within. Show any individuality, they'll turn on you in a second. Remember, support the system that keeps you and other women down and you'll be given a few crumbs of success. Gay white men can be taken in by this evangelical crowd that in any other breath will say how much they despise homosexuality, Look at Milo Yiannopoulos. Just say vile, disgusting, self-abasing shit. Attack other minorities, women, non-white people, and the same group that constantly say you're vile and disgusting and will burn in hell will take you into the tent as some sort of circus monkey and you can take the scraps from their table. So long as you have no integrity whatsoever and are willing to completely debase yourself. 
we start to get into the real payoff if you're a black man willing to go along with this bullshit. Say that black people are their own worst enemy. Say the real victims are straight white men. And you can have an entire career over nothing but saying that bullshit. And we're getting near the top of the tree in terms of payoffs in this game. If you're a black woman, prepared to repeat what these powerful straight white men want to hear. Say that women and black people are just playing victim and they're the ones in the wrong. Straight white men, they're the most oppressed minority in the world today. Yes, simply by saying absolutely banal, self-annihilating bullshit like that, you can have a career and be respected. You just have to have no actual self-respect. Now, I think it's worth pointing out here that I'm not saying that people who fall into these roles don't necessarily believe the things they're saying. It would be ridiculous to say only straight white men are fucking awful people. Fucking awful people exist everywhere. I'm just saying... They're fucking awful people. And to the people who want to say to me, hey, hey, you shouldn't be that aggressive. You should be reaching across the aisle. We should be trying to find common ground. I just want to calmly and reasonably say, fuck you. Fuck you in the fucking neck, you fucking moron. If you're on the right, if you are, let's just say, that vile, disgusting fetid swamp of people known as Donald Trump supporters, you're fucking scum and I want nothing to do with you. Fuck you, okay? I just cannot say that clearly enough. This ridiculous idea, oh no, I think the people who support the misogynist, racist, fucking criminal piece of shit, I think we can really... No, you can't. That minority, they're over there, they aren't changing. Fuck that fucking noise. And if you're someone who thinks you're a centrist, or worse still, progressive, and you want to reach across, wake the fuck up, you moron. They're playing you for the fucking chump you are. You're doing, oh, please give me scraps off the table. These people do not argue in good faith. They are not reasonable. They will spout this bullshit tone police attitude of, you've got to be reasonable. They're not reasonable. Reasonable doesn't work. You've got to go back at them hard. That is the only thing that works. They are not reasonable people. They are not listening to reasonable explanations. They are not listening to reasonable arguments. I'm fucking sick of pretending these people will respond to reason. I'm fucking angry and I want to get it out of my system. And if this is a sort of catharsis that helps you, I'm really glad that my outburst of anger can help you get yours out. And if anger is troubling you, fuck you, you piece of fucking shit. You're the fucking problem.